In this Easy Ed video lecture, we are going to learn input output operations, which include reading and writing of a character, integer, real values, and string of characters. We know that reading, processing, and writing are three important functions of a computer program. Most programs take some data as input, process it, and display it in a more readable form termed as information. In C, all the input-output functions are carried out through printf and scanf operations. Seriously, pay attention. This is important. Let's first understand how a character is read and displayed on the terminal screen in C. The simplest of all I operations is reading of a character from the standard input device, which is a keyboard, and writing a character to the standard output device, that is the screen. Reading of a single character is done through get char function. Your variable underscore name is valid C type variable declared as char. When this statement is encountered, the computer waits until a valid key is pressed and assigns this character as a value to get char function. Since get char is used on the right hand side of the assignment statement, the character value is in turn assigned the variable name on the left. Look at this example. Here ch1 is declared of type character and get char is used to input the character as is stored in ch1. We can also use get char function successively to read a character string. Seriously, pay attention. This is important. Moving on to ctype.h header file. C supports a number of library functions all grouped together in the header file named as ctype.h. Various functions are. Now we write a program to read a character. We start by declaring the main function followed by the variable answer. Then we ask the user to enter y to start and n to stop. The answer is scanned using the getCar function. After which we add if condition which checks if the value of the answer is equal to y or y. If yes then we prompt the user that we are about to start else we print goodbye and end the function. There is a function called as put care, which is used to write a single character at a time on the terminal screen. This is the general form. Here the variable ans of type char and thus this statement places a char y on the terminal screen. We write a program to show a use of put care function. We start by declaring the main function followed by the variable ch1 of type char. Then we ask the user to enter the character which is scanned in through get char. If condition here checks is the entered character is in lowercase. If yes then transform it into uppercase using to upper function. And put char is used to display the character on the screen. Or if the character is not in lowercase then we move on to the else part which transforms the character into lowercase using to lower function and places it on the screen using put care. Moving on to formatted input. It basically refers to arranging the input data in a particular format. If we want this as input, then here this line consists of three pieces of information arranged in a format. So while reading also, we need to follow the same format. So 2.3 needs to be read as float. 45 as integer and high as char. This is possible in C using the scanf function which stands for scan formatted. Hey, it's time to concentrate now. The general form is. Here control string specifies the field format in which the data is to be entered and the arguments arg1, r2 specify the address of the location where the data has to be stored. The control strings include conversion character denoted by percentage, data type character, optional number specifying the field width and blanks, tabs or new lines. Now let us learn to input integer numbers. The field specification for reading an integer number is where percentage sign indicates that conversion specification follows it. W is an integer number which specifies the width of the input number. D is the data type character and it indicates that the number to be read is an integer mode. 
Here in this example, scanf statement accepts two numbers as input and stores them in the variables number 1 and number 2 respectively. If we enter this as an input, then variable number 1 is given 67, while number 2 is given as 34556. Now if we change input format, then variable number 1 is assigned 34, as the field width specified is of two characters, and the remaining part of the first number, that is 556, would be assigned to number 2. The value 67, which is left unread, would be assigned to the first variable in the scanf statement. We can eliminate these kinds of errors by removing the width specification in the format string. White space characters like spaces, new line, are used to separate the input data items. When the scanf statement searches the input line to read a value, it always bypasses the white spaces. If a floating point number is entered instead of an integer, then the functional part would be truncated. We can skip an input field by specifying asterisk in the input field. Input 3456723. Here A is assigned 34, B is assigned 23, as 567 is skipped. The data type character can be preceded by L to read long integers and H to read short integers. Now we write a program showing formatted options for reading an integer. We start by declaring the main function and followed by the variables. We ask the user to enter three numbers. The scanf line here accepts input of three numbers and skips the second number. So when user enters 1, 2, 3, 1 is assigned to A and 3 is assigned to B as 2 is ignored. Then we print them again where we see that C is assigned a garbage value. We ask the user to enter two four-digit numbers. The scanf line here accepts input of two numbers, one of width 2 and the other width 4. Now, when the user enters 2344 and 1233, then 23 is assigned to x, as its width of it is just two digits and 44 is assigned to y, then we print them again. Then we ask the user to enter a two integers. The scanf line here accepts input of two numbers. Now when the user enters 12 and 23, A is assigned 1233 as it is carried forward from the previous scanf statement and X is assigned 12 and then we print them again. After which we again ask the user to enter a 9 digit number. The scanf line here ignores the input as it was expecting 3 numbers but as there is just one number, it assigns 23 from the previous scanf statement to P and assigns the now entered number to Q and R accordingly to the widths. Finally, we print them again. Again, we ask the user to enter two three-digit numbers. The scanf line here accepts input of two numbers. Now, when user enters 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, X is assigned 89, which is carried forward from the previous scanf statement and Y is assigned 1, 2, 3. Then we print them again. Hey, it's time to concentrate now. Next we move on to learning inputting real numbers. Scanf uses percentage %f notation to read real numbers for both. Exponential as well as decimal point values. Unlike integer numbers, the field width of floating point numbers is not specified. Here if we input 453.23, 45.07 E2 then it will assign 453.23 to number 1 and 45.07 E2 to number 2. If we want to read a double type number then the input specification should be percentage if. We can skip a number by writing percentage asterisk f. Let's write a program to show input of real numbers. Simultaneously, look at the output also. We start by declaring the header file and then the main function. Then we declare the variables. After which we ask the user to enter the values of x and y and store them using scanf statements. Then we print the values again on the screen. Again we ask the user to enter the values of p and q and store them in long double variables. Then we print their values again on the screen. We end the program using getch function. Let us learn to input a character string. As we have learned to input a character using the getchar function, we can also do the same using scanf function. 
This is similar to using getCar function. Instead of we want to input a string having more than one character, the specification used is this. The corresponding argument should be a pointer to a character array. Percentage %wc should be used when the argument is a pointer to character variable. We can use percentage characters to read characters. It specifies that only characters specified within the brackets are permissible. If the input string consists of characters other than specified, then the input operation would be terminated. The specification percentage characters does exactly reverse of it. It means that the characters specified after circumflex are not permitted. Let us write a program to understand the reading of strings. We start by declaring the main function followed by variables n1, n2, n3, which are character arrays. Then we ask the user to enter the first name which we store in n1 and also display the 15 characters of n1. Again we ask the user to enter the second name which we store in n2 as a string and also display the first 15 characters of n2. As a string is scanned only till a blank space is encountered so only new is stored and displayed. The program ends here. We can scan input data of different types in just one scanf statement. In this case we should exercise care to ensure that the input data item should match in order and type of the control specification. If we attempt to read an input that does not match the type expected then the scanf won't read any further, it will return the already read values. Let's go through the commonly used scanf format codes. Percentage %c is used for reading a character. Percentage %d reads an integer value. Percentage %e reads an exponential value. Percentage %f and g are used for reading a floating point value. Percentage %h reads a short integer. Percentage %i is used to read a hexadecimal, decimal and octal integer. Percentage %o reads an octal integer whereas percentage %s reads a string. Percentage %u reads an unsigned decimal integer. Percentage %x reads hexadecimal value. Percentage bracket reads a string of characters. Seriously, pay attention. This is important. Moving on to studying the way to display formatted output. Printf is used to output the caption and numerical results. The output so produced should be in an easy to understand format. This is the general format of printf statement. The control string consists of characters that will be printed. The format specification which represents the output format for display. Escape sequence characters like slash n or slash t. The control string indicates the number of characters that follow and their types. arg1, arg2, argn are arguments whose values are formatted and printed according to the specification of the control string. The argument should match in number, type and order with the format specification. The simple format specification takes this form. Where w denotes the number of columns to be printed and p indicates the number of digits to the right of the decimal point or number of characters to be printed from the string. Both W and P are optional. The general format for outputting integers is this. Here W specifies the minimum field width of the output. If the number is greater than the specified field width, then entire number is printed. T specifies that value to be printed as integer. The numbers are printed right justified by default while we can change their justification to left by placing a minus sign after percentage. We can also pad zeros preceding the number by placing a zero before the field with specifier. Minus and zeros are called as flags. Let's write a program to understand the printing of formatted integers. The program starts by declaring the main function. Various printf statements here print the number 336 in different format. This is the general format for displaying real numbers as output. Here W specifies the width of the output. 
P specifies the number of digits to be displayed after the decimal point. The value will be rounded off to the nearest decimal place and printed in the right justified format with W columns. Trailing zeros and leading blanks will appear automatically as per the format specification. A real number can also be displayed in the exponential form percentage WPE. Your number of ends is specified by the precision P. We can pad leading blank spaces to or provide left justification by using flags or zero. Let's write a program to understand the printing of formatted real numbers. Various printf statements are used to print numbers in different justified forms and padded zeros. Hey, it's time to concentrate now. Moving ahead with displaying a single character. A character is printed using the following format. Here W is the width of the display and C is the type specifier. The character would be printed right justified. We can change its justification using the minus flag. Let's write a program to illustrate the printing of single characters. This program displays the next character by incrementing their ASCII value by 1. Lastly, let's learn how to output strings. The general format is, it is same as the one for floating point. Here W specifies the width. P specifies that only first P characters are to be displayed. The display is left justified. Let's go through these lines. When they are executed, they print the corresponding output. Now we write program to understand printing of character strings. This program prints the word trial program in different formats. Look at the output which changes on the execution of each line. Let's go through what we have learned. We started with learning the various reading and writing styles in C using the scan F and print F keywords. Reading of a single character is done through the get care function. While display of a single character can be done using put care function. Then we learn that C type header file is a collection of various functions. After which we focused on formatted input. It basically refers to arranging the input data in a particular format. For integers, the field specification is this. The field specification for floating point numbers is this. And this is the input specification for characters and strings. We can scan input data of different types in just one scanf statement. Similarly, we studied formatted output for which we are needed to use printf statement whose general format is this. The field specification for integers is. While for real numbers, the general format for output is this. Lastly, we learn the method of displaying characters and strings.